A Salvia 80x trip report, uploaded to Shroomery 8 years and 11 months ago by Bro Name. Hey guys, I'm pretty new to the forum, but I've learned much from this site, so I feel like I should give back in some way. I debated posting this report because I feel like I could never truly explain it. However, after more thought, I believe I truly understand the meaning of my experience. A little background on my experience with psychedelics. I'm 18 years old, and my first drug use was marijuana at the ripe old age of 13. I gradually moved up to shrooms, DXM, LSD, LSA, DMT, mescaline and MDMA. When I first experimented with drugs, it was mainly to party, or simply to get high. However, since then, I've had probably around 75 psychedelic experiences, and whilst partying can be fun, I've found that the true nature of these drugs is self-exploration both through learning about yourself and by complete detachment of your mind from your body. Psychedelics allow our minds to do something our bodies can never do, to explore consciousness and the nature of the universe itself. The setting. My room on my bed with only a candle light. I had ambient trance music playing and a stick of my favourite Nagchampa incense burning beside me. The intoxicant. Two large bong rips of ATX salvia, about .17g in total. Other than that, I had no drugs in my system. While I consider myself pretty well-rounded in the realm of psychedelics, I do not have much prior experience with salvia, as this was only my third time trying the substance. Anyways, on to the interesting stuff. I began by meditating cross-legged until I felt I was in a relaxed state of mind and ready to go. And I sure did go. I took my first rip and held it in as long as I could. When I finally exhaled, I felt a prickling sensation all over my body. Also, somewhat hard to explain, but as the candlelight pulsed, I could feel it. With each wave of light, I could feel pressure and heat where the light was hitting me, and the pulses seemed to be in time with the music. Although this was enjoyable, my goal was to achieve a breakthrough, so I hastily grabbed my second bowl piece with a preloaded bowl. Even as I did this, I knew I would really trip, because for some reason, part of me seemed to be asking, am I even allowed to take another hit? I had to mentally tell myself, Yes, you are. So I took my second rip. This one was bigger than the first. From here on out, I cannot really explain the order of events as I experience time dilation. I listened to three songs for the rest of time, and somehow they didn't go smoothly from one song to the next in a straight line of time. I heard the first and second song, and then somehow back to the first, and then the third song, and then back to the second song, finally coming back to real time at the end of the last one. I know it's hard to understand, but that's the best way I can explain it. Time simply didn't matter. Anyways, as I blew out the smoke, I immediately closed my eyes and saw a bunch of rings similar to the Olympic ones, but they were somewhat see-through and not a solidly defined shape, kind of like a music visualiser. The rings spun around and went through each other and slowly faded away. After that, I did not have visuals per se, but instead felt as though I could see or maybe feel my consciousness. Who I truly was. What was odd was that this consciousness did not feel the same. It kept changing, and for a minute I seemed to be switching between consciousness like I was becoming different people. At one point I just knew that I was an old man, and at another point I felt like I was a salesman, selling something to someone, but I knew I was deceiving them and felt bad for lying. I don't remember all of the details, but I became three or four different people, then, I slowly came back to myself, but I saw blackness, because my eyes were closed. I saw these sparkling visuals, like a crackling firework, but more just random dots of colour, and I heard inaudible talking that seemed like hundreds of conversations. This slowly faded, and I came back to normal, but I still felt a little weird and floaty for about 15 minutes after. I then went outside. I smoked a cigarette and tried to comprehend the experience I'd just been through. I believe that this experience helped address one of my biggest fears. That is, who am I going to become? You see, I'm 18, and the next few years will make decisions that will shape who I am for the rest of my life, my college major and job choice. I've been worried because I don't want to make the wrong choices. This trip explained to me that who you are isn't set. You are constantly evolving and changing with every choice you make, whether it's good or bad. Also. Who you are isn't what you do, but how you do it. I realise that my choices about college and such will not define me, 
but how I react and treat others truly defines me. I also realise that we are all connected with this one fear. Who are we? And we shouldn't be though. We are all just people. And we should all focus on helping each other out and loving, instead of worrying how successful we are or how others will view us. Because in the end, the only worthwhile thing we can leave behind, give or earn, is love. Thank you.